so exercise related to air and water uh, the topic which we already completed so in this question the first question the chat is open you can also use a chat to state the answer what do you think could, could be a right answer so a new planet has been discovered and its atmosphere was analyzed has been analyzed the table shows the composition of a new planet which gases are present in the atmosphere a higher percentage than on earth so when we compare on earth how much carbon dioxide we have we have about 0 0.04 percent carbon dioxide is there on our nitrogen is about 78 percent nitrogen and 21 percent oxygen so compared to earth like this is the atmosphere of the planet shown so the question is which gases are present in the atmosphere of the planet higher so when we compare carbon dioxide on earth it is only 0 0.4 but on that planet it is four percent so it means carbon dioxide is higher on that planet when we check nitrogen, nitrogen is less. When uh, what about oxygen? Twenty-one percent on Earth, but on that planet it is twenty-four percent. So on that planet, oxygen is more. So the correct answer: carbon dioxide and oxygen. So A will be the right answer. The next question, how many, uh, many car exhaust system contain catalytical converter, which change does not occur, like which does not happen. Catalytical converter, they convert carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide, oxide of nitrogen to nitrogen gas and hydrocarbons also, but they burn completely. So carbon dioxide to carbon, that does not happen. Carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide, yes, it do. Nitrogen oxide to nitrogen, that's also right, it happened. And unburned hydrocarbon, like the hydrocarbon which does not burn, it burned them completely, produce carbon dioxide and water. So the question was, the question is, which is not occur, which does not take place. So A, B, C and D take place. So which one does not take place A is the right answer that carbon dioxide is not converted because in catalytical converter, the unburned hydrocarbon, it burned completely and it give off carbon dioxide and water. So, and oxide of nitrogen such as nitrogen monoxide or carbon monoxide, so it convert into nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide. So, oxide of nitrogen convert into nitrogen and oxide, carbon monoxide convert into carbon dioxide and hydrocarbon produce water and carbon dioxide. Then ammonia is formed in a reversible reaction when nitrogen react with hydrogen. The reaction is exothermic. So which change in the condition would increase the yield? In yield means like amount of the product or uh, which one will shift the equilibrium or the balance toward the right hand side. So if we increase the pressure, we have one mole and two. So increasing the pressure shift the equilibrium towards the right so yield will increase that's true but if we increase the temperature the forward reaction is exothermic so if we have a reaction exothermic reactions reacted have high energy and the product is having a low energy so as a result n2 plus 3h2 gives 2nh3 So if we increase the temperature, what will happen? Equilibrium will shift on the left hand side or backward. If the equilibrium shift, increasing temperature shift the equilibrium toward the left hand side. So the yield will not increase, yield will decrease. So we should increase the pressure, but we should not increase the temperature. So B is the right answer. So increasing the pressure, shift the equilibrium towards the right hand side but increasing a temperature shift the equilibrium towards the left hand side so it, pressure should be increased but not the temperature reversible reactions are affected by changing the pressure as well as temperature 
the farmer's oil is very low in both nitrogen and phosphorus so small amount of nitrogen and phosphorus is there in the soil which fertilizer will improve the quality of the soil and most effectively like which provide more nitrogen and phosphorus more effectively change the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus so when we check yeah when we check for b it is having more phosphorus but less nitrogen but we want we want both both of them so we need more nitrogen and we need more phosphorus we don't bother about potassium because in the question they did not mention that it is low in potassium so we are checking the so best to provide nitrogen and phosphorus that is d but if i say which one is best to provide potassium then it will be a which one is best to provide phosphorus that is b which one is best to provide nitrogen that is c and which one is best to provide both nitrogen and phosphorus that is d so that's why d is the right answer the gases coming from the car exhaust uh, car engine contain oxides of nitrogen how these oxides are formed so basically nitrogen and oxygen from the air react with each other and it form oxides of nitrogen so nitrogen react with that's wrong that so nitrogen react with petrol it does not react with petrol basically nitrogen and oxygen react with each other to form this oxide and nitrogen is coming from the air the nitrogen is from the air oxygen is also from the air but due to high temperature and there's a spark in the engine which caused this reaction to occur lime or calcium oxide is used to treat a waste water from the factory so lime is calcium oxide or metal oxide so metal oxide can react with what it can react with as we discussed in uh, salt topic acid alkali and salt that if you have a metal oxide metal oxide can be basic or it can be amphoteric but there are uh, three amphoteric examples you have to learn zinc lead and aluminium so calcium oxide will be metal oxide or it will be a basic oxide and if this is a basic oxide the basic oxide can react with acid only so calcium oxide will react with acid so which one of them is acid sulfuric d is the right answer catalytical converters are used to remove some gaseous pollutant from the car exhaust which gases is removed fume by oxidation so what happened carbon monoxide and oxide of nitrogen it become carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas so carbon monoxide there is a addition of oxygen if addition of oxygen is there what we call we call that as oxidation and for oxide of nitrogen it turn to nitrogen gas there is a removal of oxygen and removal of oxygen is called reduction so the question is which gas is removed so which gas is removed by oxidation that is carbon monoxide because carbon monoxide in a catalytical converter convert into carbon dioxide so this change is oxidation so b is the right answer in question 8 ammonia is produced by a haber process which statement about the haber process is not correct iron is catalyst used to increase the rate of reaction that is correct the reaction carried out at high temperature to increase the rate of reaction that is also correct because if we increase the temperature the rate of the reaction will be higher the reaction is carried out at low pressure to increase the amount of the ammonia that is wrong because when you check if the pressure is low the equilibrium will shift towards the left hand side it won't increase the amount of ammonia it will decrease the amount of ammonia so c is not the right statement then the diagram shows some uses of the water for which use it is important water to be treated like we want a clean water for cooking for washing or for planting so 
so for all treatment of the water is like removing all the soluble and insoluble impurities treatment here does not mean like you want to kill all the bacteria but it's like even for plantation when we use we should remove the soluble and insoluble impurities when we are using water for washing that also here treated water refers to that uh, all the soluble and insoluble impurities so the best here because for washing it is not necessary like we should kill a bacteria so the best is for cooking we need a very pure water so that it won't have any bacteria then oxides of nitrogen are uh, found in pollutant uh, polluted air like polluted air contain these oxides of nitrogen the question is which statement about the oxide of nitrogen is correct oxide of nitrogen are formed when nitrogen and oxygen react during fraction distillation no that is wrong it is correct when nitrogen and oxygen react but it is not in a fraction distillation oxide of nitrogen are formed in car engine by reaction of petrol that is wrong because it is nitrogen and oxygen from the air react due to high temperature oxide of nitrogen are removed from car exhaust by reacting with carbon dioxide that is also wrong because it is not reacting with carbon dioxide it is reacting with carbon monoxide and oxides of nitrogen are removed from car exhaust by reduction in catalytic converter that's true because when oxide of nitrogen and carbon monoxide mix with each other as a result it produces carbon dioxide and no so the oxide of nitrogen is sorry here n2 so oxides of nitrogen and no become n2 it means removal of oxygen or reduction so d is the right answer in question 11 the photosynthesis and respiration are important natural process which statement is correct carbon dioxide is formed by reaction of a glucose with water no that is a reaction of glucose with oxygen carbon dioxide is formed is removed from air by respiration no that is by photosynthesis glucose react with oxygen water no that's wrong glucose react with oxygen to form water due in respiration and photosynthesis produce glucose and oxygen that's true when carbon dioxide and water vapor combine in the uh, presence of uh, chlorophyll it form glucose and oxygen the carbon dioxide the carbon cycle include the process of combustion photosynthesis and respiration which row shows how the process change the amount of carbon dioxide if we burn the amount or percentage of the carbon dioxide will increase if we photosynthesis plant green plant absorb carbon dioxide so amount of carbon dioxide will and respiration a glucose break down in the presence of oxygen so amount of carbon dioxide will increase so increase decrease and increase so c will be the right answer then which statement about the condition used in a haber process is not correct high temperature is used because the forward reaction is exothermic when forward reaction is exothermic we don't prefer to use a high temperature we prefer to use low temperature so that's why a is not correct what about b high pressure is used because fewer moles of a gas are present in the product that's true because there are four particles of the reactant and there are two particles of a product so we prefer to use a high pressure so it shift the balance towards the right hand side so that's true iron is used as a catalyst to increase the rate of reaction and unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen recycle are combined together to increase the amount of ammonia that's also true air is a mixture of the gases which gas is present in the largest amount so we contain about 78% nitrogen so c is the right answer in question 15 the information about the carbon dioxide and methane 
is given. The question is tick means that is true and cross means that is false. So form when vegetation decomposition, it should be methane is yes, like methane is form and carbon dioxide no. So it means option A is wrong. Greenhouse gases, that's true. Both of the gases are greenhouse. They can cause a global warming. Present in unpolluted air, carbon dioxide is present. Produced during respiration, carbon dioxide is produced, not the methane. So the correct answer is B. Then underwater steel pipes can be protected by from corrosion by attaching a magnesium block. Which equation represent the reaction that prevent? Basically, this is called a sacrificial protection because magnesium is more reactive, so magnesium will react first. So magnesium will react first. How the metal react? They will lose metal tend to lose electrons, so magnesium atom will lose electron and turn into magnesium ion. So C is the right answer because the metal have the tendency to lose electron. And more reactive metal can lose electron easily as compared to less reactive. Ammonia is manufactured. The question is you have a you have underground iron pipe, steel pipe, and we place a magnesium here. This is how we protect the iron from rusting. So what happened, Make a piece of magnesium is placed on iron. So because magnesium is more reactive, so magnesium will transfer its electron on the iron surface. And this magnesium will react with oxygen and water vapor in the atmosphere as compared to iron. So what is the equation for magnesium to lose electron? The magnesium atom will turn into magnesium ion by loss of two electrons. So C should be the right answer. So always the more reactive metal loses electron first. Ammonia is manufactured by a Haber process. The reaction is exothermic. Which statement about Haber process is correct? Reaction is irreversible. That is wrong. The reaction is reversible and produce less ammonia at high pressure. That is also wrong because if high pressure is there, we'll get more ammonia. The reaction is reversible and produce less ammonia at high temperature. That's true. Because the reaction is exothermic, if the forward reaction is exothermic, if we increase, if the if we increase the temperature, the equilibrium or the balance is shifted toward the side, which is having high, high energy. So we have both reactant and product. Energy of the reactant is more because the reaction is reversible and product is less. So this is N two. This one is 3H2, this gives 2NH3. So when we increase the temperature, equilibrium shifted toward the left hand side, so we'll get less ammonia. So C is the right answer. And if we use a catalyst, it does not slow down the rate of the reaction, it increases the rate of the reaction. Then here, boats made from a steel can be protected from rusting by attaching a block with a more reactive metal. Which statement is correct? So we should use a more reactive metal block as I mentioned here, like we can use magnesium. So because oxygen and water vapor will react with magnesium rather than iron. So copper is used, that is wrong. Copper cannot be used because copper is less reactive. When we write the reactivity series, we have potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum, zinc, iron, lead. So the correct answer, magnesium is not used, magnesium is used and why it is used because it can lose electron easily and it can protect the iron from or the structure or iron structure from rusting.
then manufacture of ammonia by a Haber process, nitrogen and hydrogen, react to form ammonia, it is not possible to obtain 100% yield. What is the reason why we cannot obtain 100% yield or why the reaction does not give 100% ammonia? Because ammonia can decompose, reactant can form a product, product can decompose. So high pressure is used, if high pressure is used, we should get more ammonia, but still we, we don't get 100%. Why? Because ammonia decompose at high temperature or breakdown of ammonia is happening because the temperature around 450 is used so once ammonia is formed as a result ammonia will decompose and form back nitrogen and hydrogen and the last one uh, a metal x is used to make oil pipelines x screwed in air and water and x can be protected by attaching a block of uh, metal y which statement is correct so block y should be more reactive or block Y because like we have metal X, metal X can rust. So we protect this metal X by this Y. So this one is X. So as a result, what will happen? The oxygen will react with metal Y instead of metal X. So what is the reason? Because metal X can lose electron easily. Oh, sorry, metal Y can lose electron easily or Y forms a positive ion more readily or easily as or fast compared to that of X. So B is the right answer. So this was about the exercise related to air and water.